In this video, we're going to take a look at what is called interval notation, a notation that is used to summarize the graph that shows the picture of solutions to the inequality. Interval notation is usually shown with parentheses and a comma between two numbers, where the left number is the smallest possible value that works in the inequality, and the right number is the biggest possible number that works in the inequality. The type of parentheses also is important. We use curved parentheses for an inequality that is less than or greater than, but when we also have the or equal to part, we make the parentheses into a square bracket to show that we're actually equal to that number. Often, the graph will go off forever to the left or forever to the right, and so in that case, we can use infinity or negative infinity, depending on our direction. And because we can never actually be at infinity, you never actually can be equal to infinity, we'll always use curved parentheses to show we get as close to infinity as possible, but you never actually reach there. So, for example, in this graph, you'll see the lowest number is negative 2, and then it goes off forever to the right. That's where we get our infinity. So, we're going from negative 2 is the smallest value all the way off to the right to infinity. Now, infinity is always closed in with a curved bracket. For the negative 2, we look at the dot, and because we have a closed dot, we're going to use a square bracket, because the closed dot means or equal to. So this interval notation from negative 2 to infinity means any number between negative 2 to infinity will make the inequality a true statement. Example 2 has us do the same thing backwards. We're asked to graph the interval from negative infinity to negative 1. Now, negative infinity is over here off to the left. All the way negative, as negative as you can go. And we go all the way up to negative 1. Now, at negative 1, we see there's a curved bracket. Curved bracket means it's just up to negative 1, but not equal to negative 1, so we need an open circle at negative 1. And then we go towards the negative infinity off forever in that direction, and that becomes the graph of our inequality. So interval notation, we use small, comma, big, curved bracket for less than or greater than, square bracket when it's or equal to.